Hello friends, welcome to SZ 204, Lab 13, Exercise 2. Okay. So here is the lab scenario. If you want, you can go through it one more time. So far we are done with exercise 1 and in this video we will work on exercise Alright, here we are. Exercise 2, Configure Content Delivery Network and Endpoints. Task 1, we need to open the Cloud Shell. And then, okay, we'll done few commands. So let me just go back. Just follow me here. I'm just going to close everything. So here's the cloud shell icon. Just click on this one. Let me just make it big for you guys. Now we'll run the command az dash dash version. So this particular command will return the Azure CLI version. So you can see here currently I'm using 2.9.0. Let's go back. Now here we need to, okay, so here we are done with task 1, task 2 it says register the Microsoft CDN provider, okay. So we will run these commands as add help and then provider and then list. So as add help is the command, if you run this one you will see the options like, so if you see as add and after that you can use these options, okay, and also call it subgroups, okay. Now, so here we will just go and type the next command which is as a provider dash dash help okay so with as a provider you can use these many options operation or list register show and unregister provider okay now next command is to get the list of providers so as a provider and i'll type list okay so it will give me a long list of providers you see here okay let's go back to the portal now here we need to go and look for get the list of namespaces of the currently registered providers okay so i'll copy the command and i'll run this one here let me just clear first paste okay so again here also we have a long list now it says that observe the list of currently registered providers microsoft.cdn provider isn't currently in the list of providers okay let's go and verify one more time so Microsoft, if I go to C, Microsoft CD. Okay, so currently we don't have CDN. Okay, so we'll register the new provider. Okay, so for that, let me just go back and run this particular command. Okay, so if I type here, let me just clear first. Az provider and register and then I'm typing dash dash help. So it will give me the next available options. Okay. So and here is an example. It says that as a provider registered, then you need to use the namespace this one Microsoft dot something. Okay. So let's go back and get the get the namespace, which is this one Microsoft dot CDN. Okay. I'll copy this one. Let's go back. Let me just clear as a provider register and dash test namespace is the option and here i'll want to paste microsoft.cdn so we are going to register a new provider there is a spelling mistake p r o v i d e r let me hit enter okay it's done okay let's go back and okay so here we are done with task 2 as well now task 3 it says create a content delivery network profile create a cdn profile so for that we need to go and look for cdn and then we'll create name should be content delivery network subscription as is resource group marketing content location will keep default pricing tier will go and select standard akamai and then create a new cdn endpoint okay so just follow me here let me just close the cloud shell here i'm going to type cdn okay so you see the option is here the very first one cdn profiles let me just go and create one now profile name is content delivery network subscription free trial resource group will go and select marketing content location it's already pre-populated and disabled for us pricing tier let's go and select standard akamai okay now we need to it says that serial profiles cannot be created with a trial version of okay. 
let me just go and select Verizon if I can I cannot so the only option which I have is standard Microsoft so this is the one I can use and and you just make sure that you don't tick mark this particular option it should be blank for us okay so now let's go and create the profile should not take much time okay so creating a CDN profile you can see the progress here so here you can see it's done successfully created a CDN profile okay so now let's go back to the portal here we are good okay now we need to configure a storage container which is task 4 so for that we'll go to the marketing content or content host sorry that is our storage account we need to go and create a new container in our storage account we'll name it as media and public access level should be blob okay so just follow me here let me close everything first so i'll go to resource groups i'll go and select marketing content and from here i'll go and select the storage account which is this one okay now here we need to create a container so i'll go down here under blob service section we have containers link and now I'm going to create a new one. So the name should be media and access level. We need to go and select second one blob anonymous. Okay. Click on create. So now we have a new container in our storage account called media. Let's go back. Okay. So now next thing that we need to create another container with the name video and having same level of access. Okay. So we'll be creating a one more container. I'll put name as video and access level is going to be same b blob click on create done so now we have two containers in our storage account perfect so here we are done with the task 4 now next task task 3 says create cdn network endpoint okay so this is going to be important one so we need to go to the content delivery network which is our cdn profile and from there we'll just go and click on plus create endpoint okay so let's go there first now we need to create let me close everything first and here we need to go to the you can see here cdn profile content delivery network click on this one and there should be an option you see here plus endpoint so we'll be creating a new endpoint okay now let's go and get the details in the name you just put this one cdn media and then your name origin type select storage host go and select your storage account okay so let's do it one by one name i'll type as content media and then i'll enter okay as your you guys can put your name origin type let's go and select stories origin host it should be your storage account which is this one for us in the path we need to mention some value and that value is slash media leave the host header as is leave the protocol and everything should be as is after that okay so i'll go and update the path it says slash media header protocol optimized for we'll leave these values as is let's go and click on create creating a cdn endpoint so here you can see the progress so basically here we are creating an endpoint for our media container So we'll wait for this to happen first and then we'll go and create the next one. I think we can do that right away. Now again we just need to go and create another endpoint for our another container which is CDN video. Storage, content host, this is the origin path that we need to mention and rest of the details will be as is okay. So let's go. So I'll leave this one to run in background. Let's go and create another endpoint. Name is going to be, so this is not the name. It should be CDN video and then you guys can put your name origin type let me just go and select stories from the drop down we'll go and select our storage account path slash video which is our container path which is our container name basically and we need to leave rest of the details as is so i'll simply click on click on add so now okay let's see so if you see for the first one we already have the cdn endpoint ready and for the new one is doing right away so we will wait for this to happen and here also you can see let me just close you can see for this particular we have cdn video 
okay cdn media we already have the endpoint ready and for cdn video it's creating it's in progress it's done now okay perfect now let's go back now okay so now we need to add one more endpoint which is cdn web okay and this time origin type should be web app okay so follow me here we'll be creating a one more endpoint and the name should be cdn web do I need to anything? Okay, let me just go and add name, origin type. We need to select web app. Now here host name. Okay, so host name is this one, our web app URL. Let's go and verify. Origin host name, go and select landing page. Okay. And you can leave less rest of the details as is. And click on add. Okay, so origin path we can leave it as blank rest of other details will be as is i'll simply go and click on add so now basically here we are creating a new endpoint for our web app okay you can see here creating a cdn endpoint now let me see what is next okay so this is the last step for exercise 2 we'll wait for this to happen first okay it's done now let me close let's go okay so in this video we created three endpoints okay under cdn profile so next one is exercise 3 thank you for watching and i'll catch you next one